Hi everyone and welcome to Toy Lab TV. Today we're going to talk about more toys for Disney's movie Planes, Fire and Rescue. First we have Firefighter Dusty. He's a new version of Dusty that has pontoons on his landing gear. And we have two helicopters, Blade Ranger and Windlifter. We'll see these guys come together as a team in just a few minutes as they rescue Lego Man from a forest fire. But first, we have to take them out of the box. Firefighter Dusty is about half die cast and half plastic. He has a spinning propeller, wheels that spin on his pontoons, He's number 07. Next is Wind Lifter. He's also about half die cast and half plastic. His main propellers spin, and he has a detachable tank that holds fire retardant in real life. His landing wheels spin as well. and so does his tail rotor. He's number 33. Finally, we have Blade Ranger. He's a fire rescue helicopter with a hook on the end of a string that he lowers down into the forest to help rescue people from the fire before it gets too close. When you pull the hook on the string, it makes his propeller spin. If you turn the propeller the other way, it reels the hook and string back inside. Close the door when the rescue is finished. Firefighter Dusty, Wind Lifter, and Blade Ranger are ready to team up and help save people from forest fires. We're going to see them rescue Lego Man from a forest fire in just a second. First, we need a house in a forest. Lego Man's house and forest are ready to go. Word comes in that there's a fire, so Blade Ranger, Wind Lifter and Firefighter Dusty take to the sky. Wow, look at that fire around Lego Man's house. Quick, Blade Ranger hovers in overhead and lowers his hook and string down into the house. He's latched onto Lego Man and lifts him to safety. Now Firefighter Dusty comes in to put out the flames near the house. And Windlifter comes in to drop fire retardant on all the flames. The fire's out and the team can go home. If you like this video, make sure you check out our other videos about planes, fire and rescue toys. And if you had fun watching, please subscribe to Toy Lab TV.